We wanted it to be uh, one of the greatest trains in the nation. I viewed the daylight to be sort of a signature for the Southern Pacific. These scenes represent passenger trains that have traveled over the Southern Pacific's coastline route. They span the years between 1937 and 1971, when Amtrak took over the service. Hello, I'm Michael Gross. Welcome to the Daylight, the most beautiful train in the world. Few railroads match the scenery or equal the quality of service provided on the Daylight. It was truly a unique train with a glorious history. The train's history can be traced back to 1933 when Southern Pacific's president, Angus MacDonald, very confidently called a meeting of his top executives and declared, Even though things look bad, the Depression isn't going to last forever. At that point, MacDonald thrilled his staff with a dream, to build the finest and most beautiful streamlined passenger train ever designed. By 1935, the rough design for this new train had been completed, but the country was still in the grip of an economic depression. Many people were hungry and without jobs. Business and industry had been ravaged by the depression, and recovery seemed agonizingly slow to manifest itself. Although American railroads were still carrying the majority of intercity passengers and freight, shrunken revenues precluded almost all planned improvements or innovative changes. Yet Southern Pacific's 12th president, Angus MacDonald, envisioned and implemented the construction of a new train, which would deservedly be known as the most beautiful train in the world. Innovative planning and design work produced many firsts from the Southern Pacific's talented team. Passenger comfort, safety, and attention to the total ambiance was their objective, all stunningly achieved with the daylight. For this train, Southern Pacific used nothing but the finest in materials. 